what's up y'all welcome back uh i should be saying welcome back to myself because i'm the one that's been gone for a little while um yeah so as i mentioned in previous videos you all know that i was contemplating on getting an office space if you follow me in other areas like the facebook group on tiktok instagram then you know that i did get that office space and i'm currently here now um it's still not where I wanted to be. I decided I wasn't gonna go like all in on how I decorated because y'all know I really wanted that big pink chair. And I wanted like, I really wanted to be like pretty. But when I first got here, I was like, you know, I'm gonna test this out for four months and see if it's something that's gonna work um, and make sense financially. And um, I decided that I would not go all in with my furniture just yet not to say that i am like preparing for the worst i just didn't want to spend that amount of money um on the things i wanted in here and didn't have to eventually pack it all up because like just last year i bought furniture for my office at home i bought brand new home office furniture like a whole set it's like a bookshelf a cabinet a file cabinet a deck like i went all out so i didn't want to really do that just yet so what I did do for this office is I um, I went to the Habitat Reed store. I looked on Facebook Market. I did get some things brand new, but I really just shopped around secondhand for things that I wanted and we have made it work. So I will give you all a tour coming up soon. Maybe even in this video. I mean, why not? You know, why not? and um i still have like stuff to like hang up on the wall i have my frames for my information that's going to go on my walls but i don't have anything up just yet but i have been getting business here um i'm excited about that i have been able to redirect some loan closings here i've done some let's see gnw I'm going to have my first immigration appointment. It's really not for me. I am partnering with a Spanish speaking notary um, in this next city over. And so when it comes to those uh, people, when it comes to those customers that are going to need that are bilingual, she's going to be coming here on the weekends on Saturday and maybe even Fridays to, to handle those appointments and we're gonna figure out how we are going to, you know, do our fee or whatever, but I'm excited for that. I really like her and she's been my witness and you might have seen me post her on Instagram, like sometimes when she's come to witness with me. Um, so yeah, that's something that's planned for here. Last week, my cousin was here for a week um, learning. She was learning how to, you know, build that confidence and get out there and do some notary work herself because she's been a notary for a little over a year now and has not used her notary seal. But that, that ended because while she was here, she did get to do a POA and a general notary work document. We had more lined up for her to do, but they either rescheduled to this week or I don't know, I can't remember. Yeah, they rescheduled to this week because yeah, that's what it is. I need her information in order for her to be added on my account so that I can give her some of the loan closings. So she was only able to do like the GNW and I only had um, a few of those. But I mean, last week I got calls for like every service that I offer or I intend to offer. I got two calls for fingerprinting last week. I had to pass one off and the other one I was gonna do, but we just could not work out of time because my our schedule was so busy that I couldn't like get a time to meet them here to do the fingerprinting so she went somewhere else. I mean, happy for that notary, but I really wanted to, you know, do that appointment. And then I got a call for Alpostil. I got a call for um, immigration forms, some GNW, VIN verifications, loan closings. I mean, oh, POAs, estate packages. Like, we did some of everything last week, and I am confident that she will be able to get back and at least definitely do some GNW. Um... So I'm excited to see her update on that. Um, other than that, let's see, at the office, yeah. That's what's, that's what's been going on. Um, yeah, that, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, I do need to, like I said, finish decorating here. Um, 
we got most of the stuff up um i do want to say sorry for my absence y'all but um i've said this before content creation is a full-time job and i already work full-time like being an entrepreneur is a full-time job and i'm only one person and yeah things are crazy so <sighs> another thing is like when my energy is low if i'm if i'm if I'm in a low place, I don't want to like come on camera. And sometimes that low place for me can last for a long time. So if I'm in like a down mood, I don't want to bring that energy here because I know it transpires. So a lot of the times, a good majority of the times when you see me not posting, it's because I'm going through something or I am trying to like, you know, rejuvenate. Whether that be burnout, mental. But I do want to say I am happy that you all um, are patient with me and you still do return. And I do see y'all commenting and leaving questions and I do my best to respond to those. I'm just one person. I don't have a social media manager anymore. I do not have a, a assistant, which I really do. I really do need those. Um, I really do need those things, but it's got to make sense for me and my business financially. And I just haven't found somebody that makes sense financially for my business. So, um, yeah, that's what's been going on. That's a business update on the notary side. Now, let's get into the vending machine business. Um, Y'all, I mean, I am so proud of my husband. And you, we did a vending business update video. I'm gonna just insert that thumbnail. I might eventually update it. I mean, I might eventually upload it, but I just, <laughs> my husband is not good on camera. He is not good on camera. Hell, I'm barely good on camera, but he's not good on camera and I don't wanna do him like that. I was trying to edit that clip and it was just, it was, it was killing me to edit it. So I just never uploaded it because I, it just didn't come out how I wanted it to come out. And I don't know, I might still upload it, but we have more updates since that. And I'll give y'all that update in a nutshell since we see, since we're here talking about it. Um, summer has gone and we are now in fall. And let me tell you, the weather is definitely giving fall vibes. Like I'm loving the cool mornings that we're getting and the cool evenings, I'm feeling it because um, we had a hot summer. So, yeah in that video we discuss um how the vending machine business went over the summer as you all know from TikTok or maybe even on here i don't know i just be everywhere talking um summer for us not good not good why because our vending machines are primarily at schools and kids get out in the summer the staff are still there so we did get you know some sales but kids kids are out of school in the summer so we didn't make much of anything and then our only other machine was i'll talk about that in a little bit was in um a barbershop and the barbershop wasn't doing it, it's never really done well for us either it's not a shop that's you know open 24 7 and it's just yeah I don't know, I, I, I honestly would say that maybe location-wise is why I didn't do so well. There is a convenience store in the same plaza, it's a huge plaza, but there is a convenience store that's around the corner. And even though we priced our stuff um, fairly, we weren't just getting sales. And I don't know if people were going to the um, convenience store. Let me say, we weren't. let me not say that we weren't getting sales, but I'll put it like this. Um, we just got rid of the location um, because the shop was seeking a return they, 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 the, the shop wanted um they wanted a commission but when you factor in everything we have to do we really couldn't afford to pay no pay a commission for this location because it wasn't really producing anything i think when i looked at it in the in the entire year in the entire year this location has only produced 609 dollars it said or something not even like not even a grand and when you factor in so let's let's like divide that by what are we at, the, eight, the ninth month? I looked at it last week, and then we had a whole card reader on there. The card reader costs, card readers are $7.95 a month, and then when um, ever for someone swipes and uses it, they get charged, a ten, they take they charge them 10 cents, like a means fee for using a card. So the card reader a month is $7.95. Now what did I say, I think it was at like 609 and like 70 cents, but I'm gonna do 609 divided by nine months is $67 a month. 
Now the card reader is seven ninety five. So hell, that whole seven is gone. We down to like six six dollars a month. And then when you think about product and expiration on product, driving to like even check on it, my husband had gotten, when he realized it wasn't doing much, he would only check on it like if somebody called and say something wasn't dispensing or he got down to once a month, sometimes even twice, a, like once every two months or it was like a, a long gap because what am I going here to check on? And then you have to pair that with, they were saying they wanted, um, they wanted a commission and like what commission like what is the commission because even at 609 dollars if we were to give them let's say five percent that's thirty dollars for the whole year that they would have gotten and hey thirty dollars is thirty dollars um even if we would have said 10%, I mean, nothing more than really 5% would have made sense for a location like that. At 10%, that's at 10%, that's $60 for the entire year. If you break that $60 up by months, like if you divide that by the nine months, it's $6. It's $6. And I mean, when you, when you calculate gas, the time spent, the expired snacks, no, it was just, it just wasn't really doing anything for us. So what ended up happening is um, they called us and they were telling us that they felt like their light bit. I'm not gonna get into the details of that. They called us and felt like they weren't, in, they weren't making anything from us being there or, or like, I guess as if we were making everything and we really weren't making anything. And the end result was, we just sold them our vending machine and we let them keep the snacks that's in it. So at the end of the day, we really are still under when it comes to that location, but we are relieved to have it off our hands because, because we got some good news. Like this is October, what is this? Today, October 10th. So this week we gained, we, we have potentially three new accounts. Three new accounts. Um, my husband just went and picked up a vending machine today. And we have three new accounts. One of them being a government building, which is essentially going to be a government contract deal. Now, I'll get into the details of that in another video. I really hope that I can produce this information like in a timely fashion for y'all because I feel like I'm always saying I'm going to get to something and then it takes me a while because there's so much I want to talk to and talk about and so much that I could produce for this channel but like I said I'm one person I am a mom I am an entrepreneur and I have to like I'm trying to get better better with like how I do things and I did have somebody help me with videos for a while but I mean does it fit in the budget so I don't have that person create like editing my videos anymore and I mean truly I can see where the benefit is in them doing it but if I'm telling them oh I'm gonna do two videos a week and I'll send them to you on this day so that you can edit them then I get into a low period and I don't actually produce a video you know then we like it's like falling back I, I don't know y'all I'm like I said I'm just glad y'all here y'all are patient with me and I'm glad y'all are enjoying the content um continue to share it and comment and tag and i will get to the responses um but yeah aside from this new location for the vending machines that we are installing this week on wednesday we have to go drop off the machines like it's a brand new building um we also got a call um from a school that is wanting this one is like a college or something they're wanting a machine they said whoever is up under them the floor under them wants a machine as well for their business so we are going to go meet with them on wednesday both of these are wednesday we might do machine drop off that day that's going to be like a busy day because on wednesdays is the day that my husband typically he goes and refill the machines now this wednesday is going to be packed and as of right now i haven't um schedule much of anything because he's going to need my help with doing all of this so i can't wait to show you all that content um we're super excited to have these two new locations we think they're going to be great for us and one of them yeah well i'll just come back and talk about that on another video because i might need to bring him to talk about it too that's the end of this video and you all can catch me in my next video